hit, miss. It's the age-old question on the Batman Statue Collector channel. Well, today we're going to see if the Wonder Woman one-third scale Linda Carter statue from our friends over at Prime One is a hit or miss. That's up next. the BSC and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles, your one-stop shop for all things high-end statue collecting reviews, unboxing, statue chats, live content, and so much more. And like I said at the very beginning, today we're going to be doing another hit or miss video. This one is the incredible Linda Carter Wonder Woman one-third scale statue from Prime One Studio. Now this piece was just unveiled to us recently at their next level event, showcase number two, and it's so cool to see all of these new pieces. Well, now it is officially going up for pre-order. There's been some controversy with the face sculpt, whether it's perfect, whether it's not. I want to share my thoughts and opinions on this piece, but I have all of the other pre-order information for you, including the bonus item. So without further ado, let's look at it. All right, guys, so here is all of the official photos from our friends over at Prime One, all of the information that I have. Uh, and it's just a beautiful piece. I am really impressed with this piece overall. Again, I know that there has been some people that have said maybe the face sculpt could use some work, and, and I'm one of those people. I think it could have maybe used a little bit of work here. But this is done by the incredible K.A. Kim. Uh, K.A. Kim is phenomenal. Uh, she does work with Blitzway, and this piece is in conjunction with them. Um, but a beautiful pose. I really like the bonus item on this. Uh, so if you're able to get the bonus item, that is what I would recommend. You notice the Wonder Woman logo behind her. That is removable. So if you uh, do not want it, you can have just this. You can just have just the statue itself. Again, this is a third scale piece. And it's just really, really well done in my opinion. Now the price point is a little high to me. Uh, $1,299 for this one. Uh, here are the dimensions, so you get kind of an idea. Again, this is one-third scale. Um, one thing I really like is the low-profile base. Uh, I know that the Wonder Woman logo does uh, take up a little bit of room, but I really like how low-profile this is. So this is going to fit in just about any space. If you are a Wonder Woman fan, if you're a classic Linda Carter fan, this is a no-brainer piece, in my opinion. Some people think that the pose is a little bit weird, but it's actually from a uh, publicity shot that she did back in the 70s. So that is why she she is this way, and especially uh, if she's holding the cape. Uh, it just makes more sense to me. Uh, so that's why, again, I think the bonus item is definitely going to be worth it here. Um, the face sculpt, I think, especially from this angle, I think it's very, very close. Um, if you actually look at that shot uh, of her, the real photo, she's not smiling. It's a very boring photo. So I think they took a little bit of liberty here and gave her a little bit of a smile. Um, and I think it is really nicely done overall. You notice that she has the earring, she has the tiara. Um, but I do think the face sculpt, I mean, to me, there's no question that this is her. Um, it, could it have been a little bit better? Yes. Uh, there's always room for improvement on these statues, um, but I do think it's definitely Linda Carter. I think it screams her, um, and I think they did a really good job of capturing the feel of her in the 70s, especially with the costume. Um, just looks really good. Uh, the tiara looks really good as well. I think her eyes look really nice. I, I'm just really sold with this statue. Now, this is not one that I would add to my collection because I don't collect Wonder Woman, but if I did, this would be a piece that I'd be very interested in because I think they did do a really good job over overall sculpting. I think the paint looks really good. Obviously, you see the Lasso of Truth right there. Um, and you notice that it is fully sculpted, but it does have all of those wrinkles and those lines. Um, looks really good. Uh, the bust area, uh, this is a very nice <laughs> image right here. Uh, I think it looks absolutely phenomenal. Um, and again, you notice how uh, the fabric's pulling. It's just very, very realistic to me. Um, I really like this shot here because of the, the skin. You can see the freckles. Prime One does such a great job of skin texture um, with that translucent resin. Uh, they just do a really nice job, and I tip my hat, especially there. Um, I love the way the boots look. You can see that there's some weathering effect, but it has kind of this shimmer to them. I think that looks really nice. And then, of course, again, that really low-profile base, but it has a really nice logo. Um, so if you don't like that Wonder Woman, then you can remove that one right there. Um, you still get the Wonder Woman logo on the base itself. So it's, you know, it's really kind of up to you. I kind of like it with, better without the W but anyway that's just my opinion and then of course it does have a great Wonder Woman logo there at the front as well um, so I just think that the Blitzway did a really good job with this piece and Prime One did a really good job um, 
and, and K.A. Kim, again, she, her, her reputation is just absolutely outstanding. She does such a great job, and um, I know that this uh, was done with the entire Prime One and Blitzway team, so I want to you know tip my hat to everybody involved in this piece. I do think it's pretty awesome. One other awesome thing here is uh, not only the bonus here, you can see the, the fabric cape, um, but this is already going to be available, guys, November of 21. Uh, to January of uh, 2022. So you're not going to have to wait very long. I was really shocked uh, that they're going to be able to pump this thing out by November, hopefully. Um, but look at the cape. I mean, the cape is just fantastic. It really adds a lot to it. And I feel like having the straps, you know, with their arms up like that, it just makes a lot of sense to me. Um, and I just think it adds a lot to the character. I think the statue looks phenomenal with the cape. Um, you can also pose it a couple of other different ways, uh, which I think is cool as well. So if you didn't want her to wear it, you can also have it draped over the W or, you know, kind of whatever you want to do. So I do want to recap this again. This is a $1,299 US. USD. Um, I don't know if there's going to be a regular. This is they're building this as the bonus version, um, and so this is a store exclusive. I don't know if the cape will be available anywhere other than Prime One. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. Um, but I really, if you can get the cape, I, I really recommend it. Um, I just think it looks really fantastic. Again, it is coming out November of uh, 2021 to January of 2022. Sculpted, uh, at least the face sculpt was sculpted by the incredible K.A. Kim. So if you're a fan of hers, um, I just think she always does such great job, uh, really great work. Uh, she did the, the Joaquin Phoenix Joker. She did the, the Game of Thrones piece. Really great stuff from her. And again, I just love everything that Prime One's doing right now. I think they're doing a phenomenal job. If you are a Wonder Woman fan, this is definitely a hit. Um, I, I personally think it's a hit. Uh, I, I think the face could have maybe been a little bit better. Uh, maybe the price point uh, could have been tweaked a little bit. Um, but again, all angles, I think she looks phenomenal. It really captures that 70s spirit. And again, I just tip my hat to everybody involved because I do think it's a really beautiful looking piece. Um, and it's a surprise. It's a surprise from Prime One. Um, but I really think this is going to be a big hit for them. And I hope it is because it's a beautiful statue, beautiful sculpt from Prime One and Blitzway. All right, guys, so there you have it. Was it a miss? Was it a hit for you? I definitely want you to tell me down in the comments down below. For me, I think it is a very awesome statue. I think the head sculpt could have been tweaked a little bit. It could have been a little bit better. Uh, but overall, I think the, the head sculpt is really well done by, of course, K.A. Kim. The entire uh, Blitzway team, the Prime One team, they did a really good job on this piece. I guess another miss for me was the price point. I think it could have been a little bit cheaper. Don't we always wish that statues were a little bit cheaper? Um, but but, you know, again, just minor nitpicks on this piece. I do think if you are a Linda Carter Wonder Woman fan, this would be a beautiful, beautiful piece to add to your collection. I think they did a really nice job with it. I think the colors look great. And you can definitely identify who it is. It's not a modern 2000s Wonder Woman. It's definitely that 70s Wonder Woman, early 80s. Really great stuff from Prime 1 and Blitzway. But I do want to know your thoughts. What do you guys think about this piece? Let me know in the comments down below. And just thank you guys so very much for checking out the video today. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoyed it at all, please please hit that like button. That does help people just like you find content just like this. It definitely helps our channel grow. Also, hit that subscribe button. That also helps us grow and get our message out there to spread this collecting fun with all of you in the community. And if you want to take it one step further, hit the join button down below for early access to our videos. I just want to thank all of our members that are already members. You guys are amazing. Thank you for supporting the channel like you do. And just thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time right here in the Batcave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.